All right, welcome back. So remember in the previous lesson, we talked about what happened if there are no matches when joining two tables. Well, let's look at this animation again. So as you can see, we want to join these two tables. And then Patrick is going to be joined with climbing and code. And because there are two rows that are matched, you simply have two of the Patricks. All right, so now Maria gets paired with star, Darwin gets paired with apples. So what about Albert, Elizabeth, and rugby? Well, these actually just get discarded. So this is actually an inner join, which is the same thing as join, because by default, join is an inner join. We'll talk about that more later. But what if you want to keep them, like Albert, Elizabeth, and rugby, even if there are no matches? And one reason you would want to keep them is if you want to count how many things these users like. Like for example, uh, Patrick likes climbing and coding, so that's two things. Maria likes stars, that's one thing. And Darwin likes apples, which is also one thing. And then Albert, technically, they like zero things. And Elizabeth, also, she likes zero things. And I want that on my table. But currently, I do not have that. I only have the people who likes at least one thing. So what if you want to have the users who like zero things? All right. So you would have to use a different kind of join, which is what we're going to be talking about today. So there are actually four types of joins. So there are four types of joins, and we learned one of them. We learned inner join. Like I said before, this is the same thing as join, because by default, join is an inner join. But you can specify left join or right join or outer join. So for inner joins, when the rows are not matched, they are dropped, kind of like society and dating. So to learn these type of joins, we'll reference this website you can go to, which is really great for learning joins. It's called joins.sparton.com. So here they have a very good interactive visual um, UI where you can click different kinds of joins and you could see what the difference is. And then here you can see the two tables that they're joining, users and likes. And in the middle, this is the uh, resulting table of this query, which uses an inner join. As you can see, they only use the word join because by default it's an inner join. As you can see here also, or join, inner join or join. All right, so we'll use the same example, but let's visualize the Venn diagrams a little bit deeper. All right, so now we have two circles. Now think of the left circle as the leftmost table, which is a table that we're querying from, so the users, and then the right circle is the table that we're joining to, which is likes. So as you can see, it's the same diagram here, right? Okay, so let's look back at our example. So all the users, they are indeed users, so they belong here. So we got Darwin, Elizabeth, and then we got likes, like stars, climbing, uh, code, rugby, and apple. Okay, so this is essentially the right table and this is essentially the left table and we are going to perform a join. So first of all, what is in the intersection? Well, in the intersection are rows that have the same uh, ID. So for example, Patrick like climbing and coding, right? So, so they belong here. Okay, we'll just put them like this. And then Albert stays here because it does not have an intersection with likes. Maria, on the other hand, likes stars. Perfect. So I'll put you here. And then uh, who else? All right. Darwin likes apples. Great. So as you can see, Albert, Elizabeth are left out. And then rugby is also left out. Okay. Let's go back to the website. So an easy way to interpret these Venn diagrams is by looking what's inside. For example, for inner join, they have filled the colored in the middle right here. And then if we look back at our diagram, it means we want to contain all of this information, all of these rows. So you're gonna get Patrick with climbing and code, Maria with stars and Darwin with apples. And then if you look at the example, that's exactly what we get. We get Patrick with climbing and code and then Maria with stars and Darwin with apples. Awesome. Now what about left join? So if you click left join here, as you can see, the SQL changed, it's using left join instead of the normal join. And then what's the difference? As you can see, there is a difference. In inner join, you don't have Albert and Elizabeth. And if you look at the resulting table, if there's no match, we just assign it null, like Albert and Elizabeth. And then as you can see, the diagram here is 
filled red, including the left-hand side of this uh, circle. If you look at the diagram, that means we want to include Albert and we want to include Elizabeth now. And then it's just going to be nulls for them. They have been matched, so they have something that they like, but we have Albert and Elizabeth now. So that's essentially what the Venn diagram is talking about because we want to include everything, everything from the, from the user's table, even if it doesn't match the right table, the likes table. All right, what about right join? Right join is the same thing as left join, but instead of keeping the rows in the original table, it keeps the row on the join table. And in this case, it's the likes. So if there's no match, we just assign it null. As you can see, the only one, if we look back here, the only row in likes that has no match is rugby. So this time we will include rugby because we are including this whole circle, but we're not including this side of the left circle, which is Albert and Elizabeth. So as you can see in our example, there is no Albert nor Elizabeth. However, there is rugby, and then we assign null to it because it has no match from the user side. All right, what about outer join now? Outer join keeps everything. It doesn't matter if there's no match, it just keeps everything. So as you can see, that's represented in the Venn diagram. It fills out both circles, so which is an outer join. All right, so as you can see, if you look at the table, every single user is here. Patrick is here, Albert is here, Maria is here, Darwin, Elizabeth. And if they don't have a match, they'll just assign it null. And then also the likes are also all there. As you can see, we have climbing, code, stars, apples, and rugby. And then because rugby doesn't have a match, it assigns it null. And if you look back at our diagram, that's exactly what we did. If we include everything here in this whole two circles, then we're going to just get every single row, right? And then Albert's going to get null, Elizabeth is going to get null in terms of likes, and then rugby is going to get null in terms of users. So how do we actually write these joins? So let me show you the query. It's quite simple. You can also look at uh, the visual joins. As you can see, there's, um, there's different here. Uh, you can use outer joins or you can use... Um, this fancy way of doing it with union, but I have a feeling that you can just use outer joins depending on which SQL languages. That's why you should always Google it. Uh, depending on your SQL flavor, it will be a little bit different, but okay. So let's go back to Photoshop. So yeah, so you can either do just inner join, which is the same thing as join, or if you want to do left join, you just replace it by left join or right join or outer join. Usually I think it's called full outer join. At least on my company, it's called full outer join, but it can be anything. So yeah, so that's how you use the different kinds of joins. So let's do a refresher. So I have a clip for you and we are going to go through the different kinds of joins again. So let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so this is inner join. As you can see, it's going to join every row that has a match together and then it's gonna leave the other ones out, okay? And then we're gonna have, this is the left join. As you can see, what we wanna do is we want to include all of them, Patrick, Albert, Maria, Darwin, Elizabeth. It doesn't matter if there's a match or not. So that's why I'm just putting them all in the middle right away. And then we go ahead and match them. All right, got matched, got match. And then everyone else, Oh yeah, and also Patrick is two rows. And then everyone else gets assigned nulls. So that is a left join, okay? Now let's do a right join. So same thing, but instead, we're gonna include all the likes this time instead of users. And then we go ahead and do the matching. All right, and then the last one just gets null because rugby does not have a match, so it's a null. That's pretty much it. And then lastly, outer join, we want to include everything. So we're just gonna keep putting them there, right? So now we have all the users, we have all the likes, and then if you don't have a match, we'll just assign null to you. To be honest, uh, most of the time, I only use inner joins and left joins. Uh, outer joins are not that useful in my opinion because there's not a lot of time where you want um, just like to include everything because you either care about uh, just the users or just the likes like you want to retain either one of them you never want to retain both of them it's 
not that useful. Last reminder, just for fun, let's think about these different joints. Inner join, which part do you color? Yes, that's correct. You just color the middle part. I am not very good at coloring. Okay, good enough. Left join, which parts do you color? You color the this whole thing, this whole left circle. And then for the right join, which rows do you include? The middle one and also the right one. All right, and then outer join, the easy one, which rows do you include? All of them. So you just color the whole thing. That's it for the different kinds of joins. I hope you like this lesson and we'll use these joins in the next lesson using mode and you can see the power of it. All right, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.